Hi guys, my name is Anna, and as you can see, I'm in a slightly new background. In Korea, there are these like studio spaces where you can like rent it out by the hour. So you can like either have like parties with your friends, or you can like use the space to like shoot stuff in, which is what I'm using it for. For this video, I thought I would do how to pose for pictures or for Instagram. I've done now three body profiles, and also just I get my friends to take loads of pictures for me for Instagram, and I think. Now I have some like go-to stuff and also things that I've learned from professional photographers about how to take a good picture, what poses look best, what makes you look long and tall. So basically for people who are not really used to getting their picture taken, you know, when you say go stand against that backdrop, the Eiffel Tower or whatever, they go there and then they just look super awkward because they just don't know what to do, they're just standing straight. Um, basically with pictures, it's best if you can try and create angles and triangles. They say like the rule of triangles looks best in pictures, so I'll explain more about that in a second. So with my legs, I always like to put my weight onto one leg and one hip. And then you can either straighten this one leg out or you can create angles like this and then have the photographer take the picture so the bottom of the screen goes at the end of your foot. Also, if you stand to the side like this, then it also creates the illusion that you look slimmer here and also makes the booty pop. So also again, accentuating the curves. And then also with moving shots, you can try to move and get your friend to take the picture. With moving shots, I think I like to have this leg at the front like this and it creates lines. When I'm just standing, I also just like to look back, look back at your bum, waist in, ass out, look back at it like this or put the weight on your back leg and have this one out like this. This is also really flattering. And also, if you're a girl, try to use your long hair as a prop to pretend to be like touching your hair as the person's taking the picture, this kind of thing. Pretend to tie it up. Your hair is such a good prop when you don't have anything. Obviously things like sunglasses gives you something to do with your hands. <laughs> Stuff like this. Okay, so with sitting poses, on your chair, don't sit all the way to the back of the chair because that makes your legs look shorter. So sit right at the edge if you can. So just your bum is perching and then elongate as much as possible. These are like the cool girl poses, like this. Or sit all the way back into the chair and go like this. Also, when you cross them, it's better to have this leg, the one that's facing the camera, over the other leg instead of this way, because this makes you look kind of shorter. This is more flattering. Also get the photographer to shoot from the bottom, from the feet up, and that will make you look longer as well. You can also just like lean back completely and do stuff like this. This is kind of like arrogant kind of pose. <laughs> I don't really do these poses much, but lean forward, cross one leg, and do poses like here. Like this. And also um, with these kind of shots, if you get someone to take it from above as well, it kind of makes it look kind of candid and nice. And guys can do this kind of pose too. This looks cool. You can also go from here, one leg up, and then you can use this hand to play with your hair or your face. So basically always try to create space. That's what I keep saying. Also on the floor, you can do cool girl poses like this. And also with sitting ones, this makes it look flattering if you kind of sit to the side. Or you can like lean forwards maybe. But also try to elongate as much as possible. So I'm not that tall. I'm only like five foot three, like 162 centimeters. But it doesn't matter how tall or short you are. Everyone looks better when they're like elongated. So a pose that I recently started doing in like body profiles or like when I go on vacation, lean against something like a railing or a wall and I like lean my head back. Makes it look like really editorial, like magazine shoot type things. I think most people just don't know what to do with their arms and their hands. I think use your clothes as much as possible. So when you're wearing pants, pockets are the best thing ever. Always use your pockets. You can put your hand in just one or both of them and just pop the hip, pop the leg. And by doing this, that you're creating triangles here and you're creating space. So it makes the, again, the waist look slimmer. You don't want to be standing here like this really. Well, triangles just look better in photos. You see a lot of girls on Instagram do this like 
kind of like you hold onto like the finger a little bit, but like try to make it natural. Don't be like, <laughs> don't be like this, but just kind of. Now you can also like stand to the side and do this. Bags are really good for this kind of thing. Again, creating triangles wherever you can or angles. So if you're wearing stuff like cardigans like this, play around with it, drop one shoulder. And with the arms, you can like cross them kind of like this. And also fingertips are really important. Jules, my photographer for my first and third body profile, she was going on and on about how fingertips you have to make them as soft, delicate and elegant as possible. So you don't be going like this, but just like this is really important, this. And then from here, you can kind of play around, touch your face. Stuff like this. You can fiddle with something on your shirt, like buttons here, or jewelry, like a watch. Just fiddle with your clothes. If you're a guy as well, you can fiddle with your button, your shirt collar, something like this. Yeah, if you're wearing a flowy dress, then play around with the skirt. Show off the clothes and just, it gives you something to do with your hands. Obviously, your facial expression is probably one of the most important things in a photo. I think just try to be as natural as possible. No forced facial expression. So obviously everyone looks best when they're genuinely like laughing. So you just have to try like genuinely like laugh or something. A lot of people like do that like awkward frozen smile where it does like doesn't reach the eyes. Or oh, closed mouth smile. Just, blah, blah, blah. just relax the mouth muscles. If you're just going for a deadpan expression then Jules, my photographer, she told me a trick. She said, take a deep breath in and then open your mouth a little bit and just breathe out slowly. Have your eyes kind of looking down, but kind of chin up, not too down like this. Chin up and just... And then just relax the mouth muscles around here and then you should get a good shot. When you first start taking photos, like looking into the lens can be really intimidating and it just makes you nervous and makes the facial expressions not good. <laughs> then start out with like candid shots so you don't have to look into the camera. Just look to the side, smile to the side. Have a genuine emotions showing on your face maybe. Oh, and also on holidays, I like to do poses that are like, ah, and it, that also just makes you like really elongated. And it also just shows like my genuine excitement and like joy in the moment. Tips for the photographer. So when you take a photo with someone, try to always put the feet at the bottom of the screen. So the feet should be here, around here and not here. So don't have too much space at the bottom. Look at the grid line and make sure the horizon is straight. So for example, if it's like against of the beach, you want the water to be straight and parallel, not at like a wonky angle. You can always fix it later, but it's just better to have it, you know, straight on at the beginning. When I asked my dad to take pictures, he is the absolute worst. I'm so sorry, dad, but like, well, the lines are not straight. And also because usually guys are taller than you, they just like take a photo of you dead on like this. And the camera is obviously angled like this. So it makes you look shorter. So especially if they're taller than you, ask them to tilt it this way or like get down. But don't go too much because that looks a bit silly, but just a little bit. And because that just makes you look taller and longer always. Study a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures that you like. I have saved so many poses that I think I like on, on my Pinterest or on my Instagram. And I just try to like copy it basically. But basically the more photos you take, the better you get at being more natural in front of the camera. So just experiment and take as many as possible. I only have like 15 minutes left in here, so I'm gonna try to use all this space to try and get pictures. That was it for this video. <laughs> Hope it was helpful in some way. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.